Well, good evening, everybody. It's been a while since I've started a video, A, in the evening, and B, all dressed up. Today, I've been out in the garden all day. It's so miserable, and uh, I just needed to get some stuff done. So I ended up moving two tons of soil, the peat-free soil, into the beds, which are now complete. They're all filled up to the top, ready for Lids to get cracking with her vegetables. I then started to work on the path that leads through the woodland towards the beehive. So that's now made some good progress and we've got an outline of the path that goes all the way through, all the way to where the beehive's gonna be. The setup of the hive has also started. We've dug out four post holes, ready to elevate the hive off the ground. And then hopefully by the back end of next week, we'll be able to get the hive out into the garden. Just take that next step into uh, getting things ready out there. So it's been a very productive day. It's quite cold. I've had a really nice long warm shower and uh, as you can see got dressed ready for this evening because we're going to be heading to Woba Mosaic which is one of Lydia and I's favourite places to go. Whenever we want to go and treat ourselves and have a nice evening with friends we always head there and uh, essentially drink wine, eat cheese and uh, just have some good conversations. So that's what we're going to be getting ready to do now. Some of you may have noticed that I have a different vlogging camera. This one's silver and black and I always have black vlogging cameras. This is the Canon G7X Mark III that Lydia has given me. They found it the other day so I'm going to start vlogging on this now. So there's going to be no more scratch lenses. I'll chat to you tomorrow actually about camera equipment because I've placed some new orders for my Sony including lenses and stuff. So yeah we'll have a chat about that but I'm going to get ready to go out enjoy an evening of cheese and wine actually do you know what i'm gonna have beer i think yeah 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 i'm gonna have beer i'm gonna have cheese and beer little sanitizer If you take this honey with this cheese, it is insane. This is wine tasting with Sam. I'm not telling you what they are. Okay, yeah, okay. Fine. Well, they're all red wine. <laughs> good. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. Two minutes and I'll be back. Okay, yeah. No cheese. No, no, okay, no, no, cle cle cleanse your palate. This kid's not messing around. He's knocking him back. Not for you. Yeah. Let it settle. You can swill it around if you want. Which one? I think that's the Ribeiro de Loire. Right. And I, I, I really didn't like that. I think that's a French. Okay. And then what's this one? This is quite nice as well. So, I really love one and three. One and three, okay. Two's not for me. Two is the Marquis. Now this is interesting. Of the two that are remaining, the first one you tried is the one I think I wanted to try, which is the yeah, he Which called I called, it. I yeah, he did call it. Yeah, 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 he called it. Yeah. I thought you'd like that. But the third is phenomenal. The first one is really good. Yeah. That's the secret surprise. Yeah. 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 What is that? It's, it's Greek. Greek. Is it? Yeah. You're kidding. It's Greek. Oh, and we wow. sell so much of it. Because it's people say, it can't be Greek. It can't be Greek. It's not no, like, it's not like Red Sea. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, um, yeah. Let's go for it. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. What's it called? It's, um, Agiorgi Agiorgitko. Oh, well, oh. oh. I'll write the spells off the tongue. <laughs> Agiorgitko. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> What a lovely evening. I am well and truly cheesed out now though because we had cheese and wine on Friday and now again on Saturday. Um, and I think actually I had cheese for lunch yesterday as well. So yeah, I'm well and truly cheesed out but it was a really lovely evening. And uh, if you are ever local to Woburn then I would strongly suggest visiting because it's a lovely way to spend your evening. But no prizes for guessing what I'm doing today. Well, 
I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna play golf. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. The sun is out, blue skies, and it's really not that cold when the sun is shining on you. So I'm gonna go up to a local club with one of my friends, Nick. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can get 18 in. We'll see how we go. He's hurt his thumb and uh, I've got a little bit of a twinge in my knee. So we're just getting old, aren't we? <laughs> just like getting these injuries. But yeah, I feel like I really need this. A good open walk, um, just to sort of like relax and unwind because work's been incredible recently. It's been really busy, but it's nice to kind of just like take your mind off things, focus on something that's really relax. Well, I say relaxing, is golf relaxing? Mm, it depends, I'm not so sure. It's relaxing when you're playing well anyway, but I just really enjoy it. Even when I'm playing badly, I just accept that I expect to play badly, which means that I'm never teeing myself up for disappointment. Sorry about the pun, but I just chuck him in when I want these days. For those of you that know, Borat, he's just brought out his new film. Sorry for changing the subject so abruptly, but that's what Lydia and I are gonna be doing this evening. That's gonna be good fun because so far I've just heard raving reviews. I think it's been a while, hasn't it, since he's done anything, so. That's the plan of my Sunday. Game of golf, super slow start to the day, and then we're gonna be watching Borat the movie later this evening. It's gonna be a good one. So I thought I'd quickly check in, but I've got to shoot off because tea time is 12.35, and uh, I've got about half an hour to get over there. So and what I'll do is I'll check in with you tomorrow because I do want to talk to you about the new camera, new lenses. Really interesting, actually. For anybody that is looking to invest, it might be insightful, it might not. Isn't that right, my little darling? You've been very lazy bum today. You've just been sweeping all day, haven't you? You've been having some water. Mm -hmm. That's my alarm to say go to golf. Come on in. Right, see you in a bit. Good morning, today it's Monday and I had a fantastic golf round the other day. Probably the most consistent I've ever played. On the 15th, I decided that the driver was going in the bag and it wasn't coming back out again. Two balls, I faded them out of bounds and just lost the ball. So I was like, that's it. I'm just gonna play with irons today. And it worked. I was super consistent with my irons. I think if I'd have improved my short game, I would have probably got my best ever score. But I was really happy. It just was a very enjoyable game. We managed to get 18 holes in, which was lovely. We played at a course called Overstone. I actually remember once my dad was living around that area as well. So I remember the course, but I've never played on it. And there were some really tricky holes, some holes that were literally over water onto the green. So it produced some new challenges that I hadn't faced before. Um, so it was all good practice. We didn't get to watch the Borat film, which means that we get to watch it tonight <laughs> because Lids and I decided to go over to her parents' house for a Sunday roast, which was definitely a good call because it was absolutely banging and uh, a nice way to finish off a Sunday. You can't beat a Sunday roast on a Sunday, let's be honest. And yeah, that wrapped up a very lovely weekend. Got loads done, all the gardening stuff, got my golf in and I had a Sunday roast, got to see some family. So it was a win-win-win. I hope you guys had a good weekend as well. But this morning, as I mentioned, is Monday and we are back to business. I've spent my morning doing what I typically do on a Monday, which is training. Got up, had a leg session this morning. I then get onto emails and do a load of life admin, make sure that I've responded to everybody that needs responding to, and basically just get on top of everything. So as I'm coming into the bulk of the week, I know that I don't need to worry about a massive list of things to do. They're all done, and I can focus on creating content, being creative, and I don't get distracted. I do get distracted, I'm not gonna lie. People ping emails back, believe it or not, and that keeps me busy, but I just get the bulk of it done, which is really nice. As always, every Monday, blog posts going out. It's nice to see the blog is growing in numbers as well. And yeah, if you haven't been over to alicordon.net in a while, you should head over there because I've been posting every Monday for probably, I don't know, anywhere from four to six months. So we've got loads of new content on there, been really consistent with it, which I'm very happy about because it was one of the challenges that I set myself at the start of the year. Uh, to get working on the blog. I had it redesigned as well over that period. So yeah, new layout if you haven't been over there in a while, loads of new content. So I hope you do enjoy that. But I wanted to quickly sit down here with you today. I'm not gonna go on about this for too long because for some people, camera equipment is too geeky, they're not interested in it. So we're gonna keep it short and sweet. My Sony A7R Mark II broke when I was in Wales, as I've mentioned previously, uh, because it had water damage. And so I've been borrowing a Mark III for the time being, and uh, that's the upgraded version of mine. And of course, when we got the news back that my camera was not repairable, it was time to invest in a new one. So I spent a little bit of time over the weekend watching a video that was a comparison between the Mark III, which is the camera that I'm borrowing, 
and the latest upgraded version, which is the Mark IV. The price difference in the camera is, I think something like a grand or an extra 1500 quid. Um, it's a fairly large amount of money to spend. So I wanted to find out what the differences were between the two models. And they have made lots of changes, but I wouldn't say personally enough to warrant the extra expense for somebody that's looking to create content in my field. There's some nice new features, but there wasn't anything that was drastic enough to be like, wow, that is why you need to get that new camera. I decided to pick up the Mark III, which is only about two years old anyway. During the examination of the camera, I also sent across the two lenses that I use the most, which are the Sony Zeiss 1.8 55mm and this is probably my most used lens. I do a lot of my photography on this lens and a fair amount of videography as well. They said that this and my 28mm were non-repairable. Um, I think there was just loads of dust inside the glass and probably knowing me some scratch marks on them as well. I needed to invest in some new lenses so I picked up the 28mm again and I've recently been using the 1.8 Sony 50mm which is this little fella here and it's been great it's really compact light and it does what you need focus on it is a little bit slow it takes a lot longer than the 1.855 mil did for me however this lens retails at 165 pounds which in the world of lenses if you're not familiar is very very reasonable that's quite a cheap lens i've been very happy with it so initially i was looking at buying another one of these because this isn't actually my lens um, I just it came with the mark 3 that I'm borrowing I then stumbled across online the Zeiss 50mm 1.4 and I didn't do much research on this before I purchased it I was a little bit taken back by the sheer size and weight of this thing I mean in comparison 50mm 1.8 50mm 1.4 this is twice as big three times as heavy. However, this is a Zeiss lens, and of course, it goes down to 1.4 f-stop, which is basically affecting the depth of field on your image to create a more creamy, smooth, bokeh kind of feel to your photos, which I absolutely love. Portrait photography, 1.4, it's gonna be dreamy. And this lens retails at 1,299 pounds. So this is like over a thousand pounds more expensive than the Sony 1.8. And so I wanted to put them to the test. I wanted to see whether my new investment was money well spent and the images were taken to the next level. So this right here is a photo taken on the Sony 1.8 50mm on ISO 200, f-stop 1.8 and 125 shutter speed off some flowers downstairs in the kitchen. And this image right here was taken on the Zeiss 50mm 1.4 with an ISO of 125, all the other settings the same. Same camera, two different lenses, very similar output. Now, probably to the untrained eye, you'll say, I literally can't see any difference between the two images. I put a grade on them both. I just stuck the same preset that I'd made for the photo on both of the images. And I would say that for an extra thousand pounds, it doesn't look like you get a lot for your money. One thing I would say is the focus on the Zeiss lens was insane. It just instantly picked up the head, ready to go. On the Sony, it probably took about three seconds. It was kind of like focusing in and out. On closer inspection, you can see that the depth of field is definitely present. You can see that the 1.4 is a lot softer. I don't want to criticize the lens too much too early because it's still very early days. That's literally the only photo that I've taken on it. And I do want to go out. I want to see how it affects the skin, how it affects the eyes, how it affects the background and the bokeh whilst taking portrait and images of myself when we're out and about. But I think for my first impressions, it's very, very large. It's not very portable. People probably definitely underestimate the weight of cameras and how important it is to have camera gear that's very portable, lightweight. And certainly in what I do anyway, I'm not gonna enjoy lugging around that beast when I'm trekking up mountains. I'd much prefer to have the more compact, lightweight Sony. So we're gonna see how we go with it. But first impressions, feel a little bit disappointed with it. I thought I would just share that with you because if you're somebody that's looking at these two lenses and you're in my field, if you're in a professional field and you're doing photography at a very high level, 
Of course, the glass in the Zeiss lens is going to be much better, probably where the money is in the glass that they use in that lens. And so there will be some differences, but just does the difference warrant the extra cost for digital content? I'm not sure it does. If you're looking at investing in these lenses for personal use, again, how much does it really matter? It's just such a minor change. I just think that for the majority of people to invest that extra money doesn't really make sense as I have done. And I'm gonna stick with it and I'm gonna give it a bit more of a thorough try out and test. And at the end of the day, I've got it now. I'm gonna keep it, I'm not gonna send it back. So I'll be able to review it down the line in the future and let you know how we get on with it. Things we do like about it and don't like about it. I think the focus element on it is gonna be really interesting because it does seem to pick up really quickly which can be very useful when you're out and about. Sometimes you don't get time to focus. You just have to be up and in, get the shot before it's gone. So yeah, I just thought I'd touch base on that. It may help somebody out that's looking and investing in a new lens. It might sway your opinion either way. So yeah, I just wanted to touch on that subject because I think we almost assume that if something is more expensive, that it warrants the extra cost and Quite clearly, it's not always the case. I'm not saying that there's no difference in the two lenses, there definitely is, but it's just a minor difference. And uh, it's about weighing up where to spend your money. And if you were to talk to any photographer, they'll tell you invest in your glass, which what they're trying to say is invest in your lenses, buy good quality lenses. That's what's gonna take your photography to the next level. And I'm sure that there's people that are a lot more advanced in this field than I am that would say, no, there is a huge difference between these two lenses. And I don't doubt there isn't, but to my eye and to a lot of other people's eyes, it's something that's not really recognizable. So then we have to question, is it really worth that extra thousand um, pounds? And some, probably not. But moving on from the Sony lenses, I also picked up another DJI OM4 because my manager, as you guys know, because I keep on telling you, is helping me create content at the moment. And I decided that it would be really great for him to get used to using the DJI because obviously using a gimbal for somebody that's not used it before, you need to understand like how it feels and how to move around with it. I picked him one up as a gift the other day, so hopefully that's gonna be arriving soon as well. And uh, thank you for everybody that's also shared with me their purchase of the DJI OM4. I hope you're getting on well with it. That is serving you well because it is a great bit of kit. I've actually been filming lots of my Reels videos on my DJI OM4 because I find it a lot more easier when we're out and about just to capture it on the phone and get the stability from the gimbal. It's been a very handy piece of kit to have in my camera attire. Been enjoying that. Apart from that, I think that's pretty much all of my camera gear investments at the minute. I've been looking at a few other lenses, but nothing at the minute that I'm ready to um, stick my money down on the table for. I do quite like the probe lenses. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with them. They're like really long, thin macro lenses. They're probably about this long and they can just get really nice and close up and uh, just a really unique perspective of something. You might have seen people kind of like running the camera down a book or they're kind of like zooming through like a cereal box or something. That's the, the lens that they're creating that content on. It retails at I think about 1200 or something. Um, I'm not too sure on that. It's very innovative. I think there's only one company, at least when I was looking anyway, that were making them. Maybe in the future and it will bring a new dynamic uh, both to the vlog and to my content on social platforms. Also, I've just remembered, sorry, going off on a tangent here. We've just confirmed that I'm gonna be playing in the BMW Championship Pro-Am next year, as long as circumstances allow, which is amazing. I think I've referenced in my last video that it had been canceled, which is a huge shame. Um, however, we're now doing it next year, 2021. So I'm super pumped and looking forward to uh, playing on that as well. But that's a very long time away. We've still got Halloween, Bonfire night, Christmas, Easter, probably missing out loads of important events before then. But I just thought I'd let you know because I'm excited about it. <laughs> Lydia's having a big organization session. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. That is a whole drawer of leggings. It's a whole drawer of gym kit, it's not leggings. All oh, right. You have just requested that I go and get you a branch for the lounge. Yes, I'm taking an Instagram pic and I need a new branch. A new one, an autumnal one. Yeah, I'd love an autumnal one. Hmm. New steamer, looking good. Yeah, my other one broke. It's looking so. slimline, that is. <laughs> yeah, it looks like s slimmer. More practical to pack away. It's not. Is it it's not? It's a bit hard to move, to be honest, but it's, it's better quality. Cool. So at this time of year, getting 
branches with leaves on. It's a challenge, but I'm gonna see what I can do. I actually think it looks really good, like autumnal, just like quite twiggy. Yeah. Personally. But well, we can we'll get see. loads of twigs and put them in. Yeah, okay. I'll go out and grab that now. Any particular tree? Just whatever you think looks best. My love. Okay. Also, whilst we're out here, you'll see that Lydia has not messed around. She started to get these beds going. <laughs> Let us! <laughs> I think we need to get some covers to protect them. But yeah, all the beds are full and the veg is in. We are not messing. Now we need to select a nice tree to take a little snippet off of. I think this one, I think this is a cool one actually. We've never had this one in the house before actually, so it should, should be good. Just before I snip this down and head off back inside, because it's kind of cold in a t-shirt, <laughs> I've decided to line the path to the beehive with some logs. So as you can see, we have started to create a path and I feel like it's working, it's looking good. You can see it leads around and through, really nice. A work in progress, we need to flatten the ground out so when we get the roller ring soon I'll flatten this down and make it a little bit smoother but it's a path leading all the way. It's a lovely day, it's just a bit cold. It's quite a lonely world. Well, I'm not sure if this is my finest work. I think we've definitely had nicer cutoffs from the garden. So I might be pruning this one down a little bit because it does look a little bit chunky, but we'll see what Lid says. Anyway, I opened up the fireplace just to chuck a couple of leaves in and out popped these two beasts. And away they go, into the great outdoors. So are you satisfied, Mrs. Millen Gordon? Yes. With the foliage? Yes. I do like that foliage. Yeah. My favourite is the table though. Yeah, the one out there. Oh, bad boy. In fact, that is what I was photographing earlier when I was showing you the lens. These are good, but the spring uh, pops, out, pops out all the time, yeah, which is annoying. I mean, they look cool, but practicality not, as good as the other not so good. I opened up the fireplace, two wasps, and they were just black because of all of the soot. Did you get them is out? it soot? Yeah. yeah, well, they just flew out. What they walked out. So, do you think we've got a wasp's nest in our clue? No, there's only two. Oh, right, okay. I think they've definitely come down there, though. Maybe they were mating, got carried away, fell down the hole. James's DJI M4 has just arrived. Lovely job. The girls have just made me a hot chocolate. It's the first time, Lids, I've had hot chocolate with marshmallows all year. Yeah. That is a lot of marshmallows. Yeah. It's a good job that Carrie brought a lot. Yeah. Wowza. That's dinner sorted. I'm just wrapping up for the day and the final order has come through. The other day I discovered Bake Sake on Instagram. It's a new startup company, so I placed myself an order of granola because I have eggs for breakfast all of the time. And the other day I was in a rush and I was like, I wish I had some granola just to sort of chuck in a bowl and get cracking with my day. And I didn't. So I thought I need to add that to the shopping list. And then when I discovered these guys, I was like, oh, this sounds really nice. So I've ordered some granola for stock and I also got carried away and placed an order for some cookies as well. These are actually vegan, refined sugar free, gluten free, egg free and paleo friendly. They're low carb and also I was told that these are grain free as well. So it makes me feel a lot better when I'm eating cookies that there is a slightly more healthier element to them should we say but if you want to check these guys out they are a new startup it's bake sake and i'll leave their details in the description box below dinner is looking very strong tonight so what is amongst the tray uh it's tofu miso tofu and uh over lovely tonight we're watching borat why are you upset about it it's, it's gonna just, be fantastic it's gonna be so crap really yeah it's it's like it was funny when we were like in our early teens, Ali G and stuff like that, but it's just... You, are you being serious? What? You don't want to watch it? 
I mean, babe, I'll I've see. heard great things about it. What, in your lads group? No. Yes. <laughs> Online. What have you heard that's great about it? It's very current and he's funny. Listen, babe, I'm willing to tune in. Okay. You do that then. Ooh. What ones are they? Chocolate chunk, dark chocolate brownies. Mm. As a dish, it doesn't particularly look amazing, does it? But it tastes, whoa, especially with some of this soy sauce. <laughs> Thank you. Let me give you the sleeping head. Can't get open. No, me either. And I've tried to cut it. It's like impossible. <laughs> it's one way of doing it. Pecan. Should I put a selection on the plate? Yes, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Yeah. So I have a couple of different Amazon accounts and I've got like Amazon business and stuff like that. One of the accounts I've obviously paid for Prime on and I haven't on the other account. It basically derived from having an old email, setting up an account and then setting one up on my phone with the, the wrong email and then ended up with two and then I made one of them business and one of them Prime. I've logged into the one on TV at some stage, the one that doesn't have Prime, so I haven't got access to the bar out film so I now have to change my login to the one that's got prime and i can't remember which one's which it's all very confusing over on amazon ali gordon oh you want me to open all of them yeah well yeah because like, that was a mixed one and can you get me a knife so i can cut the and then prize oh, are you sure you want to sign out a prime video okay thank you You'll be pleased to know that these cookies are also in child-proof boxes. <laughs> I've got the fire blazing this evening. Oh, these are brownies, lids. I'm absolutely freezing today, I don't know why. I think we just had a little drop in temperature and it's just hit me a bit harder. Ready to try? Yeah. What are we going to try first? Not a brownie. Oh, you need a plate then. Yeah, go on, get me a little plate and I'll take these off your hands. Do you know what? I was a bit. I wasn't sure when I first took a bite of this, but it's not too much. It's really quite a nice, like it's not overly sickly for something so thick and really nice. Good. Mm. I have done it. We've got a cookie monster over here. I'm not sure about the sesame seed one. You try it. Oh, have you had a nibble on it yet? No. Is it savoury? I don't know. Alright, oh, okay. You try it. You're just not sure about sesame seed cookie? No, you try it. Okay, help. To summarise up last night's film, I have to be honest, Lydia was right. Borat is probably a thing of the past for us. Um, I didn't particularly find it that funny, if I'm completely honest. I found it a little bit cringy in areas. Um, it just wasn't what I was hoping for. I mean, I love Sasha as an actor, he's amazing. Memories of Borat back in the day, thumbs up. But the most recent film, just personally, it wasn't for me. Um, I understand that there were some messages in there to take from it, but I just felt like as some entertaining pastime, it was just a little bit bit cringy so yeah that's my my thoughts on the Borat film but I'm gonna wrap this vlog up uh, I hope you have enjoyed it I'll leave links to everything that I mentioned in this video in the description box below and I look forward to seeing you on the next one peace